Breast milk is a direct reflection of the nutrient status of the mother's diet. Not only that, certain environmental factors such as allergen, bacterial microbiome benefits are transferred in the milk to the child. We know of colostrum, the first milk from the mother, the immune properties that it gives the child, and we know babies have a natural instinct to crawl to the mother's breast after birth, not to a soy formula full of modern chemicals and poison. Just about everyone is unaware of the benefits of breastfeeding. Crooked teeth, poor eyesight, short stature, ugly faces, all of these things are attributed to improper physical development. When pigs didn't receive enough vitamin A, they were born without eyes. If you started telling parents your kids will be short, ugly, blind, and fat because of their diet, they might consider changing their habits, but that sounds crazy to most people. You know what's not crazy? The fact that wild animals on their natural diets, wolves, dogs, cats, don't suffer from any of these physical ailments or degenerative diseases like we do. Obesity, heart disease, diabetes. The improper physical development can be from a lack of nutrients in the breast milk or any prenatal stage, even the health of the sperm and the egg, the first few months of pregnancy, and then nutrients throughout every stage of development in someone's life are very important until they're about 25 years old. Adults have more of a tolerance to survive famine, but nature is not kind to children. Nature doesn't care if you just gave birth. You know, if a flood comes and wipes out your crops, what happened years and years ago? We are lacking nutrients that were present in every single hunter-gatherer group, contributing to the health of these indigenous people, whether it's their physical development or absence of degenerative disease, they consumed much larger amounts of vitamins, minerals, elements, and fatty acids that we could ever hope to achieve on our modern diets. This is because of the food quality and the much higher animal food consumption. Vitamin A, B, C, D, E, and K2, omega fatty acids as well, are all present in breast milk in varying amounts. And the only way, the only way to increase the amount of these nutrients in breast milk is to consume the animal form of the vitamin as the plant forms are not highly bioavailable to the body. Beta carotene conversion into retinol, vitamin A, is inefficient and some people can't do it at all. It's a very large percentage of the population actually, at least a quarter. Plant foods don't contain certain B vitamins. Vitamin D3 from the sun requires cholesterol to be metabolized in the body. Vitamin K2 is only present in animal foods and fermented animal foods in considerable amounts. I know there is natto, but natto is a modern food that didn't exist you know, hundreds to thousands of years ago. It's, it's just a modern man-made food that people are using as an excuse not to eat animal foods. And omega fatty acids cannot be converted efficiently from plant foods. Hypothetically, you could supplement uh, some of these nutrients, but I think the only person cruel enough to gamble their child's well-being on a laboratory supplement is a vegan. And I want it to be clear, breast milk versus formula is not always cut and dry. I've spoken to women who have had nutrient depleted breast milk and their children are just as worse off as some formula fed children. I think breastfeeding would contribute to a much better microbiome in general, but physical development wise, they'll still have, you know, crooked teeth, poor eyesight and short stature. So you need to get nutrients even if you're breastfeeding. It's not just like, oh, breastfeeding, my child's going to be healthy. Not even close to that. Here is a study showing that consuming vitamins in the diet increases vitamin levels in breast milk, particularly B vitamins and vitamin A. One really alarming statistic is that DHA in human breast milk can vary from 0.06% to 1.4%. That is over a 20 fold variance the highest concentration of DHA being in coastal populations, highly associated with marine food consumption.
Taking DHA supplements was shown to increase DHA levels from 0.15 to 0.23, but not nearly the level of what we see in people consuming a diet high in fish. We know that serum retinol, vitamin A, correlates to vitamin A content of breast milk, retinol being contained in animal foods like liver. And this is completely crazy because they literally warn pregnant women not to eat liver, not to consume too much vitamin A, yet we need it. The reason they're warning women not to consume vitamin A is because we don't have enough of the other vitamins and they all work together. They're synergistic. For B vitamins, a drastic variance can be seen as well. And vitamin D deficiency results in lack of vitamin D in breast milk. Also, season of birth is associated with birth weight, pubertal timing, adult body size, height, and educational attainment, indicating the importance of sun exposure for vitamin D during pregnancy. Many infants are deficient in vitamin K, and we know vitamin K2 is the most available form. These nutrients absolutely need to be obtained from animal foods. Egg consumers had higher intakes of many nutrients contributing significantly to their diets. Milk and protein intake greatly contributed to fetal growth. Not to mention, lowering cholesterol reduces fetal circulation in mid-pregnancy, indicating a lack of nutrients being delivered to the fetus. Think about how our ancestors lived. Most of them survived the winter, spring and summer came, they got pregnant, nourished themselves off of the animal foods that are in prime nutrition during late summer and early fall when the animals are fat and rich with nutrients. They stored up vitamin D3 from the spring and summer sun. Then they gave birth next year when the sun comes back out again and nutrition becomes present. Storing nutrients for the winter and then as soon as the baby is born, they are back to a thriving environment. But we never get those nutrients in our modern day lives. We are in a chronic state of winter nutrition where animal foods aren't high in nutrients and plant foods aren't high in nutrients because of how we are raising our foods. Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, the pregnancy, the breastfeeding thing is something that sits very close to my heart as the reason I firmly believe my sister is mentally disabled is because of a lack of nutrients during developmental stages and not just my sister. You know, every single person in the world. Uh, I saw some poor girl on Reddit the other day with a facial deformation and, and it really breaks my heart uh, to see this kind of stuff. And, and this is the reason I make videos every day. Uh, this is the reason I don't sleep. Uh, this is the reason I work so hard. Uh, so although at times I feel like I'm not making much of an impact and you know, things are very difficult for me. In the long run, if there's a chance that I can help people in this aspect and prevent this from happening to anyone and having, you know, miserable, sick, unhappy lives, I, I will do whatever it takes to achieve that. So if you guys could please share this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Like the video, it helps to get more views. And definitely hit that bell icon if you want to be notified of my videos every day, as well as my very frequent live streams. If you guys would like to support me further, I started Frankie's Free Range Meat with these ambitions as well, providing the highest quality animal foods at an affordable price. Go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com to check out naturally raised meats, raw dairy, caviar. You can also check out Frankie's Naturals, minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. You know, it's not only a lack of nutrients, there are a lot of pollutants in our environment and some of the products I'm making are alleviating deodorant, fluoride. You know, there was just a study on fluoride a few weeks ago that showed that children that consumed fluoride had a lower IQ. So our modern world is destroying us and I'm trying to help fix it. Thanks again for joining me guys and enjoy the rest of your day.